Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm filming a clothing haul for y'all. And I've done this before, but I'm doing it a little bit differently today as far as the camera setup. So I'm hoping the lighting's not gonna be horrible. I have my lights set up, but I feel like it's gonna be really dark. But I'm gonna try it out, so thank you for watching if you guys are interested. I just wanted to show you guys some things that I newly bought. Um, some new pieces I'm planning on wearing for the 4th of July and just some things that you guys can get really good deals on. I am a huge bargain shopper. I love finding things that are affordable so I thought you guys might enjoy this. I did a clothing haul from Forever 21 on my channel just randomly threw it together and my good friend Trisha she told me I miss you from your blogging days and when you used to do fashion posts and stuff like that so I thought I would give this a try. It won't be a try on haul but hopefully the camera is far back enough where I can actually show you the item without it being like cut off. So the first thing I want to show you guys is something that I've been toting all over my Instagram. It's these shoes and I've been pretty much wearing them every day. Um, these are from Target and they do come in other different shades. I bought like the stripey ones and they have like a nice big bow on them. You know the slides with big accent pieces are so in for summer right now. And I really like these. They're by the brand Sam and Libby. And I will try and link everything that I can find down below. So if you're interested in these, the link will be down below. Super cute shoes. The only thing with these is they are a little bit uncomfortable when you first start wearing them. This part really digs into your feet. There is a curve to that, so after a little while you're, you'll get used to them. Uh, but I just think they're so cute and I plan on wearing these all through the summertime. So I'm going to get accessories out of the way. This is the next thing I want to show you guys. I actually picked this up a while ago, so this is not new, but this is again from Target. And when I was in college, I had a purse almost like this from Express, and I wore it to death. Like, it was so, like, far gone, and I remember taking it to Sri Lanka, and I left it there. Sri Lanka's where I'm from, in case any of you didn't know. Uh, but this bag just, like, bought me right back. It's like a little boho-shaped bag, and... Um, it's nice because you can wear it cross body and you can wear it on your shoulder and this bag is like the perfect size for me where it fits in like a little bit more than my essentials like it's not too small but it's not like a giant bag either and this neutral color pretty much works with everything again this is from Target I will link it down below it comes in like six other shades there's black there's blue mint red brown um, just a lot of different shades and when my mom was here, she liked it so much that I actually bought her the navy. So if you're interested in an awesome bag for the summertime, I would totally recommend this one. So for any professional working women, I would recommend something like this. This is actually the purse I've been using on the daily recently. And this is by Michael Kors and it's one of his, um, what is this bag called? I want to say it's like the jet setter or jet something. Um, but it's his tote bag and I've wanted one of these forever and I kept trying to order one on Macy's So here's what I learned about Michael Kors and this particular bag. So the bigger the size It's called like the large isn't actually large. It's actually smaller than this bag This is actually the medium tote. So if I find it, I'll link it down below, but finally after trying to order this purse three times and ordering the wrong size three times, I finally decided to look at the dimensions and when I measured the dimensions, the bigger one was actually called the medium. So that was really confusing, but I got it in this really nice, um, this color I think in Michael Kors is called luggage and it's a beautiful brown that'll just work with everything. It's so heavy right now. I'm like, what the hell do I carry around in my purse all day? But I really like this bag. It's well made, um, it's got zippers and like a ton of compartments. Also like this video if you want to see a what's in my bag video, <laughs> I can do that for you guys. But yeah, I like that it has a nice big zipper, most totes don't so, you know, inevitably you end up like dropping everything. So I would totally recommend this if you guys are looking for it, I will link it down below. Okay, so I think that's pretty much everything for accessory kind of stuff. So next, let me show you some swimsuits that I picked up for the 4th of July weekend. So the first suit I want to show you guys is this one, and it really caught my eye on Target's website. Of course, apart from the fact that it is red, white, and blue, 
I love how this looked in the photo. So it's a halter top. I'm not going to try and put this on. I don't know why I did that. And it has a little peekaboo right here, which looks so like sexy on the model. And I've been really into one pieces. I'm not exactly like a size zero by any means. So I just think they're flattering, but still sexy. So this is really, really cute. It has that, um, you know, cutout right there. And then it has a halter back. So I really bought it for the cutout and I love the colors. And I feel like it will be so cute for this weekend. And it's also going to look really cute with my skin tone, I feel like. So I will link this down below if you guys are interested in a cute one piece that's holiday appropriate. Next item is not really that exciting, but this is a really, really, really high-waisted black bottom. Kind of looks like granny panties, so I'm really not sure. I haven't tried this on yet. But I, what I thought was it would really cinch in my stomach. And then I could just wear like a little bikini top that I already had. So... I'm going to have to try this on and see if it fits me, otherwise I will take it back. But I just thought really, really high-waisted with just a little sliver of skin showing would look really cute. And I have so many bikini tops that I could pair this with, so I decided to pick it out and see if it'll work for me or not. Okay, so next I have a few tops, and this top really caught my eye. I have a lot of scarf printed tops in this video, so... Hopefully you guys won't get too bored, but this is from the junior section at Target and I thought it was so, so cute, especially for the lakes and stuff. And I like the color and uh, this is, it just looked really cute and I bought it in the size extra large and I just thought it was cute. So I haven't tried this on yet, but I just thought with some shorts or something, I could rock it at the beach or whatever. Next shirt I got was this one. It's one of those like off shoulder shirts. These were all on sale, which was why I bought them, because I figured if I don't like them, I can take them back. But this has the cutout here at the shoulder. It has a little tie, and it's blue and white stripes, so again, perfect for 4th of July. I could see this paired with some really cute red shorts, or even some black jeans or some white jeans. It's just really cute. It's a little bit see-through, but you could just probably wear it with a bra or like a tank top or a bandeau. Um, but I just thought it was really cute and has a little cutout in the back. Last item is this denim or like chambray coal shoulder. Um, I thought this was really cute, but I think this one I'm going to take back only because it's kind of a cropped um, chambray top and I don't really like cropped shirts because of my size. I just can't wear them and feel comfortable. So it's really cute though and it's on sale. So if you guys are interested in it, I will link it for you down below so you can buy it. Okay, so I am trying to tell you guys where I get things from in case you want to purchase them. Um, because who wants to watch somebody unbox a bunch of stuff and not be able to buy them themselves? This one, I probably won't be able to link for you because it's from TJ Maxx. And I feel like every TJ Maxx has something different. But if you guys are happen to stumble upon this, I know it's available at the Fargo TJ Maxx. Um, but it's this really cute little top and I just think this is so adorable because it has a little cutout here um, and it's such a flattering little ruffle and I can never have too many white tank tops and I actually bought this in a different shade at first and I'll show you that shade next um, but um, I just wanted every color because I thought it was so flattering and this is in the size extra large so it's not too short on me which is great because I don't like it when shirts are too short and like you lift your hand and then like everything's exposed. So I like my camis and things to be long too, kind of to cover my butt and my midsection. So this is so, so cute and so flattering. So I bought it in three shades. One shade is in the wash right now. It's like a peachy shade. It's kind of like the color of the Ulta bags, um, but yeah, this is really cute. And then this is the other shade I picked it up in. It's like a beautiful chartreuse green. It looks very neon yellow and these colors look amazing on my skin tone. So I'm saving this. I think I'm going to wear this to the Bruno Mars concert we're going to in August because he'll be in Fargo. Um, but I just thought this was such a beautiful color and I don't know. It's just really cute. So I have it in three colors. And the next shirt I want to show you guys is this one. Again, it's another scarf print. And I actually um, took you guys with me shopping when I was at TJ Maxx when I found this. So you guys saw that Instagram story, leave me a comment down below. 
but I just thought it was so cute. It was a little bit different. I love the print. I think it's going to be great for the 4th of July again because it's like red. Pair it with some denim shorts, some white shorts, some black shorts. It's going to be so cute. It's very flattering on me and then the back looks the same. I still have the tags on it but it's literally like two squares sewn together and I just think it's adorable. So I'm going to have so much fun with this top in the summertime. This is again from TJ Maxx, so I don't think I'll be able to link it for you guys, but you know, check out your local stores because you might be able to find it somewhere. Okay, and then the next top I want to show you guys is from Target. This is from their Who What Wear line, and um, I love that collection or that particular line that they carry at Target because they have some really awesome pieces. I really like this shirt. It's kind of like a regular work shirt, but then at the bottom it has these tassels and I just thought that was such a fun detail. Again, I can see this being awesome for the 4th of July. You can make it look really casual by folding up the sleeve or rolling it up and just wearing it really casual, a little bit unbuttoned, maybe with some red shorts, some navy shorts, some black shorts, some white shorts, some pants with some fun red sandals. I just think this is such a cute shirt. So. If you guys are interested in something like this, I will I will link this one down below because I know it's still available on Target's website and I just thought it was so cute and who doesn't love some tassels? So yeah, love this shirt. Okay, so I feel like I'm really, really late to this trend, but you know, blue stripes are so in right now and this cutout trend is so in right now and the little arm like that, that I was so pumped again when I found this dress at TJ Maxx. It was such a good deal and I just think it's going to be so cute for the 4th. Um, I love the stripes and you can pair this. I have a pair of red sandals that I think it would just pop with, especially with my skin tone. But these dresses are so in you guys and so, so comfy. So I am so glad I scored this dress and I just think it's very flattering. It's kind of like a big bag so it really hides everything that I want to hide. And so I love this dress. And I also have a picture of me wearing this dress on Instagram, so if you guys are interested in seeing that, I will link my Instagram down below so you can check out a picture of me in this dress. This next dress that I'm showing you is a super fun. I actually picked this up way before um, summer even rolled around from a local boutique here in Fargo called Proper and Prim. And I actually wore this to a rib fest here in Fargo, and uh, I got a lot of compliments on it. So I was really excited because it kind of is really busy. It kind of looks like a circus tent, like the colors and stuff, but that's what attracted me to it. And it's, um, you know, a shorter dress. It's off shoulder and it has a little tie detail here in the sleeves, but I think it's so cute for something outdoorsy, a festival or like summer, springtime event, like an outdoor event. So I'm so glad I have it and I'm definitely going to keep wearing it. Um, I don't think I'll be able to link it down below because, like I said, I got this a while ago. I just haven't started wearing it yet, so yeah, I just thought it was so cute. Okay guys, last few items. I wanted to show you one more scarf print thing. This is something I picked up from TJ Maxx and I didn't think I really needed this, but I just thought it was so cute and I haven't really bought any dresses for summer yet. And again, it's like a big billowy dress. so gonna hide everything I needed to hide and I just thought it was such fun colors really brighten up my wardrobe for spring it's a little spaghetti strap and this dress was only $20 which is such a good deal and it's so so flattering and flowy so I love this guy and again it was from TJ Maxx so I don't think I can link this for you guys but uh, keep an eye out because you might see it at a local store okay guys and then the last two items are something I need you guys' help with I need you to vote and tell me which one to keep if I should keep one or the other or both um, these are what they call romper maxis or maxi rompers it's like a romper on the inside and then there's like this like piece of material I don't know if you'd call it like a cape or what it is but it's like maxi length and then your legs kind of show through down here so I think this is like a trend for summer 2017 and I got it in this green shade and then this like floral print and these are both from Target um, and they both fit. This is both extra large because I wanted to make sure they fit uh, over my ass which is huge uh, but I don't know I think they're both really cute but I don't feel like I need both of them so if you guys could help me decide pick your favorite print and vote down below that would really help me out but I don't know this is kind of a fun trend I think you can dress this up or you know make it casual just wear it with some sandals 
and be casual or you could wear it with some heels throw on some jewelry and look really classy in it too so those are my last two things in my fashion haul okay guys that is everything i picked up recently hopefully you found this video mildly entertaining if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you want to see more fashion videos and thank you so much for watching guys have a great day bye